Checking in from Moab. I've been slacking so much and ignoring all of you, and I apologize. I've had so many upgrades since we last spoke. The new Saturn is performing wonderfully. Look at all that room. It's massive. It's huge. Check out this new stove. It's gonna be a bit difficult to spill stuff with a new stove, but I think we'll find a way. Okay, well, it's time to um, pretend to know what I'm doing and make some food. I've wanted to do this one for a while. I'm curious to see how it would come out in a car, so what we're gonna do is a cast iron stovetop pizza. If you've never done it, great, because then we're in the same boat because I've never done this either. Um, let's roll up some sleeves and start getting to work. With that said, I've never made pizza dough. So what we're going to do is just wing it. We need to inoculate our yeast. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up a little bit of water up to about 100, 110 degrees. We're going to just guess. Okay, we've got some water that's pretty warm to the touch. Careful, if it's too warm, uh, you will kill the yeast. We want to use about one ounce of yeast. This packet's two and a quarter, so we're going to eyeball it. And we're going to let that sit for maybe five or so minutes. A couple of teaspoons of salt. Again, just going to wing it. Then we need about three cups of flour, which guess what? We are going to wing it. Let's start with that, and if we need to add more, we will. So I just kept adding a little bit of flour at a time until I got to a uh, reasonable dough-like consistency. So now what we gotta do is just let that sit for a few hours. So what should we do until then? How about a little bike ride? Ah! It's so bumpy. Uh-oh, loose handlebars. That's not good. Time to kick it old school and use my own two legs, I guess. Whoa. 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 Shout out to Travis for the free beer. And a cheers. Post. Slancha. Salute. A votre santé. Cheerio. Ciao. Well, that was a fun way to kill some time. Um, it's just been a little over an hour. Uh, it's not very long for the dough to puff up, but you know, that's puffy enough. Let's chop some vegetables, and what we're gonna do is slice them up the way we want them on the pizza and fry them in the pan for a little bit. We've got eggplant, tomato, mushrooms, veggie sausage, onion, mozzarella. Okay, we got the veggies all cut up. We got the pan heating up. Now, I don't actually have a lid for this thing, so I'm gonna try this cardboard. Whoa, wait a second. The food can wait. What is going on? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty nice. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, vegetables. Um, what do we want to do now? I don't know what I'm doing. Somebody help. Oh, we need sauce. Hold on. I'm just gonna use a can of tomato sauce, Italian seasoning, a little balsamic, and I'm gonna dice up a tomato. Not bad. Let's see what this dough is like. Now we're probably only gonna need about half of this dough. Got a little hole here. I'm gonna just patch that up. Don't even worry about it. I don't think I did this uh, dough right. Well, I'm not really surprised. I hope you aren't either. We'll make it work. Just keep patching. Patch, patch, patch. Once that pan is nice and really hot, we'll just try and get this the dough on there. Alrighty. Oops. What a mess. Perfect. So what we're gonna try and do is just fry this side, cook it a little bit. We're gonna flip it and then add the veggies and sauce and cheese, cover it up. I finally got a good stove, but now I need a good lid for my pans. Perfect. It smells like it's burning. That's a lot of dough. Um, if you're doing this, don't use that much dough. Check it out. Ooh, oh, this is thick. So I've turned it all the way off for now because the pan, it's cast iron, it's gonna be really hot. It's gonna retain that heat for a while. I'm gonna try and do kind of a deep dish, make it extra thick. Toppings, and then the cheese on top of that. Finish it off with a little salt and pepper. Turn it back on and drink beer. Let's see what we've got. I uh, just waited about 10 minutes, keeping the heat either off or on low so we don't burn the underside. About what I expected. <laughs> Can't expect much from a cast iron pan on a camping stove. All right, the true test. Looks all right. Oops, crust is a bit falling apart. That's actually not bad at all. Flavor-wise, it's it's delicious. The crust is a little undercooked on the inside. The sauce could be a little less runny, but everything tastes fantastic. So there you have it. Stove top cast iron pizza. And I've got leftover dough that I can use tomorrow for something. Yeah, probably pizza. I hope you enjoyed the new video and please feel free to give me any suggestions on anything to do in the future. Either more fire or different food or whatever. Please let me know. Cheers.